Welcome to Rosonari TV. Before we get started, make sure to click that like button and subscribe and remember to hit the notification bell. First thing to be mentioned is that Rade Krunic, the versatile midfielder that Pioli has been using in different roles, especially in the attacking midfield position, has extended his contract with AC Milan up until 2025. And right after that, Milan extended the contract of Sandrino Tonali up until June 30th, 2027 and doubling his wages. Let's remember that Tonali sacrificed a big chunk of his wages during the negotiation with Brescia. Tonali has been rewarded for his incredible performances last season that helped Milan win the Scudetto. It is turnover time, Milan face Sampdoria in game day 6 of the Serie A in a very hectic schedule, Pioli forced to make some changes in his starting 11, changes that might give Pioli some very good indications if he gets a positive result. According to the various outlets and rumors coming out of Milanello, of course Magic Mike will be starting between the posts. Il Capitano Calabria will be starting as the right back, sharing that position with newcomer Dest, now that Florenzi will be out for five months due to his injury. First turnover will be Chiar over Kalulu. Chiar starting his first competitive game since his major injury against Genoa. The other centre back that is going to be pairing with Chiar will be Franco Ficaio Baresi Tomori. The left back position is going to be occupied by the bullet train TH19 Teo Hernandez, the player that so far is one of the outfield players that has played the most minutes. In the double pivot, another turnover is expected. Pobega will be starting over Benasser. Pobega, a player that has started life well in Milan after his loan spells with Spezia and Torino. Pioli with a lot of positive words about him in his conference. Alongside Pobega, Pioli has opted to place the myth, the man, the legend, Sandro Tonali, who has just extended his contract with AC Milan. On the left attack and third, Pioli has given the nod to Leao. Leao will be starting. His firepower will be much needed. In the attacking midfield position, it is going to be either De Keller or Diaz. Some outlets are saying De Keller, others are saying Diaz. But let's not forget Ali is in the mix as well. Finally, on the right side, it is going to be a competition between Salah makers who had an excellent performance in Europe and Messias. The big news is Origi starting from the beginning. Origi finally given an opportunity to show what he is all about, given Giroud a rest since Giroud has been working overtime. Giampaolo is going to play with a 4-1-4-1 as he normally does, very cagey formation, difficult to break down. Milan will be, have to be clinical when they find themselves in front of goal. Milan will have to play with the personality and charisma of Lions. Dropping points at this stage of the season would be very negative for the team, especially because Milan has some big games coming up right after this one right here. As far as the AC Milan newcomers, we are expecting to see Dest come in in the second half for Calabria. In the pre-match press conference, Pioli did speak about Ali and he spoke about the players and Pioli made it clear that he is thinking about winning and he puts the best formations possible and all of these players will have their moment to shine and when they will be called, it is up to them to deliver high level performances. Most likely Ali will be playing against Sampdoria at a certain point and of course we will be seeing De Kattler. Not so sure about Ranks or Chiao just yet. Let us know in the comments whether or not you think Pioli is doing the right thing with the turnovers. Is he taking risks that if they don't pay off will put Milan in a compromised position chasing the league? But if they do pay off, Pioli is going to have many more players that he can rely on 
as the season goes forward. Let us know what you think and where you stand on this position. But guys, no matter what, always Forza Milan. Give us a like, subscribe, comment below. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Ciao.